funny. A spider came out of the first hole I was doing. I dropped everything, <laughs> ran, was like, I'm done. I'm I'm done. So there was no there was no gardening happening. So when you had this idea for the school and you contacted Ahmed, you were still kind of in that state of mind? I had zero experience. I had no plants in my house. I was like, we had, I had green doctor came and did the lawn. We had someone come and cut the shrubs because it outsourced all that stuff all over. <laughs> yeah. Green space. And there's like an acre of land. So, you know, this is literally farmland. Like I could walk down the street and get to cows. Yeah. That's how like out this is. No experience. Ahmed answers me back because he was the only person that I knew that <laughs> that I followed that it was any kind of green anything so that's why I emailed him I was like you know hey do you have like do you ever do charity work we would, would you come and crash our schoolyard he was like uh I do but I usually do it for <laughs> what's in this area I'm in California oh yeah so he's you all know, the way from California he came all the way to California Jersey. And then he was like, look, here's my number. Um, give me a call Saturday around this time, you know, California time. Um, what are they? Uh, oh, wow. Four hours, three hours. Three hours behind us. Yeah. And, you know, give me a call. So I did. Very quickly, he knew I knew nothing. <laughs> so <laughs> And did that endear him to want to like, help or was he just oh, like, oh <laughs> man, I, let me tell you that that is my bud. Like he, he was, he, he was like, okay, you, you really don't know anything. Cause he said, okay, well, tell me about what you want to do. And I did, I gave him my teacher spiel. That's what You're like, I, I want to measure plants. <laughs> yes, we just want to do plants and we want to do this. And we want the kids to be engaged and he goes, well, what do you want to grow? And I was like, um, like tomatoes. And he goes, why? Okay, well, why tomatoes? And I said, because we're from Jersey. That's what we do. <laughs> and he went, there is truth in that statement, though. I mean, there there is. And you ask any Jersey, like South Jersey. I mean, that's that's where you grow tomatoes. Oh my God! You ask anyone like down here, like what what is Jersey known for? And we will be like tomatoes and sweet white corn. Like no, immediately, the, that's the three things I miss the most uh -huh. in the world because I live in like rainy, cloudy land. Are tomatoes, sweet corn, and melons, cantaloupes. Oh my goodness. That is what we do. We have that beautiful soil. See, now I can talk about it and be like, oh, we have that beautiful soil. It's that downy soil from New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, he's he was like, okay, no, that's not what Jersey's known for. And I was like, yes, we are. Um, <laughs> Jersey. What was he convinced? We were, what is he? What was he convinced Jersey was known for? He's like, he knows what our export is. And he was like, no, Jersey is known for blueberries and cranberries. And I was Not like, too. I was like, no, it is well, sweet no, white corn and tomatoes, you know? And he just was like, wow, okay. Well, what kind of flowers? And I was like, um, tulips. And he said, why? And I went, cause they're my favorite. <laughs> he was like, so you know nothing. <laughs> I was like, no. He said, do you have a garden? I was like, no, I like, I have shrubs. I'm, and he's asking me what kind of plants I had in my yard. I'm like, I don't know, whatever the landscaper puts there. Like, so I don't know. I don't tend you, to so, have. So six years ago, you, you, you knew nothing. Nothing, like bupkis, nothing. Like I said, I didn't have anything green around me, no plants. And I grew up, my mom always had tons of plants in the house like our windows were covered in plants she, i mean we had cherry tree in the yard uh peach tree she had a sassafras tree so, so you like, had all the reasons and the environment to know stuff right i did but i never tapped into <clears throat> any of it. i i was definitely a product of you know working mom single mom how can i just do things quick easy get everything done my son is an artist so when he was young, there were a lot of art classes and, um, you know, things he was in soccer and all this other stuff. So 
you know, I'm driving him to Philly. He's a high schooler and I'm taking him to Philly to um, the University of the Arts for classes. So, I mean, I was yeah. busy. It just wasn't on your radar. Wasn't on my radar at all. But I'll do anything for kids. Anything for, like for helping a kid learn. I am. I always say that for teachers, like that is our addiction. Um, as people will ask like, well, why teaching? You know, you don't do this for a corner office. You don't do this for the money at all, <laughs> like, at all. You're not going to do it for that. So what is it? And I'm like, it's like this addiction. When you see the aha moment in a child, when you see that moment where they are so excited about learning that feeds like right now I have chills because that really feeds you. That's what keeps you going. Mm -hmm. So all of this is behind everything that I've done to yeah. this. Now. So Ahmed sent me off with, I mean, I had one of those legal yellow tablets. I think I had like three or four pages of notes. I mean, he stayed on the phone with me and he's asking me questions. And I was like, I don't know who that is. So he's like, you need to look up this person writing down notes. You need to understand this. You need to understand this. You need to understand this. So it started my journey. And the more, like I read everything he told me to read. I researched all the people he told me to research. And then I started researching on my own because, you know, I'm an educator. I'm a nerd. I'm looking up peer reviewed articles on gardening with children. And there wasn't a lot, but what I read was really tying a lot of special education to gardening. So of course, now I am delving deeper and I'm in it. I'm learning. I got back to Ahmed within, I think it was like two weeks and, you know, message him. Shows like, commitment because yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, I design school gardens and a lot of times people love the idea and then it. Yes. It does another thing. Yes. So, uh, you know, I, I'm like, okay contacted him he went there's no way you you did all that stuff and I was like yeah yeah I did I are you the type of person that like when you get into something you get like totally absorbed full and immersion 